Hello everybody, this idiot right here. Today I'm going to work on the Blue Yeti microphone. You can see inside here, the USB plug is completely trashed. Instead of replacing this part and having this happen again, I'm going to attempt to hardwire this directly to it. And hopefully I don't have that problem again. I'll start by taking this apart. I'll be back. Alright, in order to take this fully apart, there's three screws in the bottom. There's one hidden under this little cover. Once we do that, we'll have to pull the knobs off on both sides. And we should be able to slide it straight out the top. Alright kids, I'm back. In order to pull these buttons off, just put a rag on them. Just put of pliers. Now we pulled the screws out of the bottom. Now this thing should come apart. Success. Now we can figure out how we're going to remove that little plug right there and hardwire it. Okay, before we start soldering, take our soldering iron and tin it a little bit. This will help keep the tip hot and clean. Now on the case, the USB went through. We're going to feed our USB cable through there before we do anything. Right here on the PCB. Yeah, five pins. One, two, three, four, five. Depending on what end your hot ground is, it will depend on which direction one, two, three, four, and five is. One, three, and five should be on top, two and four be on the bottom. figure out which one's which since I didn't keep the plug I'm just going to use a multimeter set it right here to the ohms where it's got the little speaker press that that will give you continuity meaning you'll hear a beep whenever you have a connection essentially I'm going to just try to find ground all this metal should be grounded to it. So I should be able to set one probe on the ground and one down here and figure out which one's the ground. Let's me know that the top one right here is my ground. So now all I need to do is look at a pinout for USB micro B. Then I'll know if that's five or one. And then I can wire the rest up. According to this diagram, it should be black on top, green on top, red. Then this white one will be on the right side on bottom. We'll find out. I got it wired up. It's hard to tell. It didn't do the best job. But it does have a blinking light. And 
this little bitty laptop shows the Yeti microphone. I'll try to turn it, see if I don't short it out. I needed hot glue, so I'm gonna hot glue these wires. Because I don't like them sitting like that. But if it works, I'll finish the recording using the Yeti. Blue Yeti microphone test number one.